Hey guys, and welcome back to some more European for Salus. Let's go and give Spain a nice little insult. We haven't done an insult in a while. Boom. Get ourselves some power projection so we can actually get some of our military power back. Should be able to. Yeah, leaders without upkeep, one. We all... Huh. Our power projection should give me that second leader. There we go. There's the second leader. Good. We don't have to spend as much military power. Okay. Keep in Europe, since we're here. Stay in Europe. Re For as big as our country is, we're making so little cash. But you have to also realize we're spending 11.66 right now on colonies. <laughs> we're running four colonies at the same time. One, two... And we have three, four at the same time. So if I stopped colonizing, we would have a ton of cash. Spain no longer considers me a rival. Oh, Spain. Just as I insult you, you're like, nope, we're not rivals anymore. It's like, really, Spain? All right. Lithuania it is. We'll stop embargoing Spain. And start embargoing Lithuania, who is definitely an enemy of the state, based on their colonial efforts alone. They are an enemy of the state. Issue embargo. 14.67 is what we're sitting at right now. That's not bad. Not bad to get from trade. That's uh, Africa, North America, Europe. There you go. Keep on Europe. Do we have a loan? I don't remember. Probably don't have a loan. No. No loans. We're fine. Manpower. Uh, we can go down here. Get another 25. Call it good. Wait for more cash. Alright, go back to Elodia. Uh, yeah, well... I could fabricate for Gibraltar. Actually, if I can get a claim on Gibraltar and, and make some progress against Thuringia, I mean, I know they have Tlenken and Johor as their allies. Johor is the only one that's an issue. Tlenken's not even an entity. But I would like to at least have Gibraltar. You know, it would give me a position in the future where I would be able to uh, westernize off of Elodia, probably, hopefully, maybe. Uh, just lose the prestige. I mean, we've had negative prestige for so long. Well, it's a little bit more negative prestige, you know? Whoa, you're way over here. Kind of curious who's living in Greenland. I don't know. That's insane, though. Like, I... In one episode, they went from not having anything up here to just exploding everywhere. Like, that's that's just nuts. That's absolutely nuts. 95 per year. Jeez. Alright, give me Rolgenveld as well. Now if we want... Yeah, I, I kind of figure these would be worth a lot. These are actually free. Ooh, that's a 14. That's tempting. That's very tempting. Oh yeah, we need to core you. Right. Okay. Uh, you. You're back. I guess that was Europe. I don't know. Whatever. I guess you probably explored Europe and then that was the closest port. That's probably what happened. We need another 4,000 men. We're getting there. We are getting there. At least we're getting actually a pretty decent reinforcement rate of 332 for now. Our, our manpower is less than... Our uh, our force limits. Now I'm not 100% certain what to get for my next idea group. I'm kind of torn. I want trade ideas. But... I, mean, I guess we have a lot of time to think about it. We're three techs away from it. But you know, I want trade ideas, but I also want... like Just 
a large number of soldiers. Tolerance of heathens. There we go. And idea cost has been further reduced. So now it's, what, 300 for an idea instead of 400? That's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Uh, but now unrest should be, like, completely non-existent. Like, they really, really shouldn't be a problem. So if we slow down here, go to a place like Figwig. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh, 9 negative unrest, 9.12 net. So I should be able to decrease autonomy by 25%. It gives 0.9% unrest. And all of a sudden, I decrease their autonomy. That's 9.12 again. Decrease autonomy. 9.12, decrease autonomy. 9.12, again, just eliminate autonomy completely. Now, all these 0.9%, they do add up. That's 12%. Wow. Yeah, just dump the autonomy. Like, we don't need autonomy anymore. We don't have to have autonomy anymore. It's all taken care of already. Now, you're at 12, and I can't reduce it. It's below 10%. Okay. There we go. Mass removal of autonomy because our tolerance is just that high. 12%, take that down. And I imagine that's going to be worth a lot for us as well. That's good, that's good. Still got some autonomy there, 7%. I don't want to push that button. Nope, not there either, okay. So we have a little bit of unrest, if you want to call it that. You know, it's kind of just generally a little irked people, I guess. Go to Crete. That's good. Yeah, they're generally irked, but they're not... It's not going to be an issue. I said for 25 years, right? Local unrest plus 10 for 25 years, yeah. But it, or 30 years? 30 years. Still, we should be perfectly safe. Fabricate. Just continue fabricating. Uh, Chinook is as good as we can get them. How are our vassals looking? West Indies. Prove relations with West Indies. They need it. And that'll just give us a lot more money. A lot more money, a lot more manpower. Look at that. We just got 4,000 manpower just by tolerance alone. We got 4,000 manpower, and we got some extra cash. We got a lot of extra cash because of that. Gotta love that autonomy. Oh, we were caught in Keblia. Oh, well. Look like there's... Yeah, I've pretty much reduced autonomy where I can, I think. Yeah, nothing there, nothing there. Shouldn't be anything here, shouldn't be anything down here. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. Except for these two down here, but I can't do anything for them. Culture is good. Autonomy is... Actually, Tangiers and Tiflay. Sorry, Dagbon. Uh, Tangiers is right here. Now, why didn't I do it here? I'm not certain. And then there was to flay or something? What is that? Half... Half... Full out. Right here. I guess I jumped over you as well. 9.13, yeah. There you go. 43,000 manpower now. That That feels much better. That's much, much better. Alright, good stuff. That does mean in 52 years' time we might have a rebellion. Or maybe 30 years or something like that, but... I mean, come on, that's not gonna happen. It's, it's so minor, it's so very minor. I'm not concerned. Alright, taxes. 
Why only 0.45? Maybe because they're only worth 1.1 base stacks in the first place. Fair enough. Okay. Well, let's speed things up. It's been a long enough time. More base tacks. Give me all the money so I can build more buildings. Please. And especially more navy. That's the big one. I need more navy. That's that's not something I have easy access to right now. Africa. That's what? North Africa? Sure, that's kind of counts as Europe, I guess. Mediterranean Sea, effectively. Oh, hey, there's Dagbon. Hey, Dagbon. Lots of claims on Dagbon. <laughs> oh, goodness. We really need to get our manpower back up. We're at 1,600. Can we get at least to, like, 40,000? Pleased to hear this. Global tariffs plus 20%. Nice. Give me that money. Money, money, money. Why are you upset? Relative power to liege and tariffs. Eh, fair. Oh, hey, our truce ended with Kablia. Wonderful. Because we can totally afford a war with them right now. Well, they can't afford a war with me, so that's not all bad. Iron in Great Karoo. I was really open for, like, gold. In a 15 base tax province, just make it gold. It's just like, here, all the money. It's like, oh my god. And that's actually, it'll be more than 15 base tax, because we have an additional uh, native group here that'll give it a, an additional point one, An additional one manpower off the base, 200. Sao Tome? Ah, oh, you were so close to being done. Gosh dang it. Oh well. These things happen. More temples. More money. I am disappointed. Poor copper artillery cost reduced. Not a lot to really look at right now. Are you you are done. I guess you went and explored a little bit of northern Africa. I could attempt to circumnavigate the globe, but I don't think that's smart right now. America, Europe, there you go, Scandinavian region. Sure, I'd like to know more about Scandinavia. Why not? Well, we know that there's Ramazan. That's all we know. Medri Bai is a vassal of, oh, has the vassal of Yarani, maybe? I don't know. Are you at war? No, you're not. Really? Moonsters are war, but you're not. Interesting. Leinster, they tell us of the Evangelical Union. Okay. The German Catholic states are feeling threatened and have regrouped into a Catholic League. Which means in the Holy Roman Empire, you can pick which side you're on, the Protestants or the Catholics. Uh, I choose nothing right now. I'm just going to kind of stay out of it. I'm not going to support either side. I'd like to support the Cath or the Protestants. I don't think there's enough Protestant movement right now. There is a decent amount of Protestant, and there's some Reformation in there as well, but... You know, I don't think it's really enough. I honestly don't think it's enough. I, don't, I can join the Protestant League, I guess. Can I join the League if our capital's on a different continent than the Holy Roman Empire? Okay, so we can't join the Protestant League. Well then. Sao Tome. Alright. Congrats for them. Now there was a nice, big, fat base tax over here. And we need to establish a presence in Canada. As it uh, asked of us. So. We can do that with a nice, big old 10 base tax. Happily. Despite everything, we're still third. <laughs> In spite of everything that's happened, we're still third. I'm curious. Ledger, we can just keep it running. That's fine. 
Uh, score comparison? Sort that by score, okay. Wow, I don't know where or who Indongo is, but they are powerful. But we, we're a solid third. We're a far cry from second and first. But we are actually, interestingly, fifth, third, seventh, fourth, ninth, fourth. So our Diplo rating is far better, and we're almost equal on an admin and military. Actually, no, our military is a far cry from theirs, but our admin is close, and our Diplo is far better than Ray Wakantha. Whoa! Lannister joined. The, the, okay. Yay! We get a mission. Okay. Defensive and offensive dudes. I like... Wait a minute. Oh, no, I see. the. Okay, wait. Oh, wait, hang on. Pause. 2, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 2, 4, 6, 8... 10, 11. Okay, so they are actually equal in pips. It just... It was throwing me off there. Offensive Eastern Musketeers. Uh, insult Lithuania. Sure. I'll do that. Your country... is shaped... like an upside-down club. Not a very good insult, but an insult nonetheless. Conquer... something? Oh, okay, so I have two of them... To go against Cavalier. Obviously, the one that's just flat conquer is better. Oh, I can do that too. Tolerance of Heathens plus global settler increase. That's one Diplo power, but I'll take it. That's more settlers and more tolerance, which actually might have just demolished the. Uh... No, it didn't demolish that entirely. Well, maybe it will come the end of October. Yeah! Now we're so tolerant we can decrease autonomy and not receive any penalties. Wow. Oh, like, I want to. I want to. If I declared war on them, if I declared war, I would have Chinook and Elodia. They would have Moonster. I have no soldiers. Like, I just don't. They're actually allied with quite a few people, so I don't want to declare on both of them. But I could just say I want to conquer that, and Chinook and Elodia say they would help me. Now, mind you, they're at 9. Kebley is at 9. We are now at 12 tech level. This is, We are modern tech. With, like, Rewakantha level of military. Oh my god, they're fighting so many people and they're just demol- they'll, I know where they're fighting. They're fighting in the new world. That's what's happening. I don't blame them. Absolutely not. A lot to be had there. Alright, give me some cash. Please. Diplotech. Colonial range, shipyard canal. Great. And that puts us really close to modern Diplotech. So really, we just need our admin to catch up. And that's understandable. We spent a lot of admin points on humanist ideas. One more idea group, and we'll have even more tolerance. Seriously, this tolerance is getting to be so insanely high that we're going to be in a position where we can just mass conquer. We'll be able to get into this area down here, and just take Malaya, and then Air, and then Luongo, and Im Imagawa, and just full annex after full annex after full annex, and have no rebellions. That's what I'm hoping for here. That's my aim. And I feel like that's actually going to be a reality we're going to be able to achieve soon. We just need manpower, primarily. <laughs> we need manpower. But if we can own all of this land down here, that'll put us easily on par with Rewakantha and military power, which means we can bully them out of the Indies. We can bully them out of Mexico, and we can control all of North and South America. 
Lithuania will probably be the first country I'll bully, just because they are smaller, they're weaker right now. They are smaller and weaker. Heck, they're losing territory to Louisiana. Now, I think Louisiana's losing the war. No, they are winning the war. Really? Well, let's go to military real quick. Armies. Uh, just go alphabetical. They should be fairly close. JKL, Lithuania. 24,000, 29,000 right now, but 24,000 is what they're at. Louisiana, 10,000. Really? So I guess Lithuania's having a hard time because they don't have the Navy, I guess. I don't know. Wow. Wait, oh God. Ray Lakantha West Indies is the third most powerful nation. Oh my goodness. Well, West West Brazil is on there. West East Brazil is on there too, in the top 10. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lithuania rounds out the top 10. Kabbalaya sitting at a measly 16,000 soldiers. I have more than that right here, right now. I have 26,000 soldiers. I'll, ca I'll declare for Warsinus, and I'll call in my allies. And we're going to march on Warsenis, and we're going to march on Cassadir, Highlands, and Highlands. So we'll hold on to the Highlands. Drylands and coastlines, we can leave down there uh, in case someone wants to uh, wants to go down there so we can just kind of jump on them. Now, I do want to point something else real quick. Before we speed up the game, Notice right here it says supply limit plus three. These are highlands, so supply limit plus three. We got to enter to our supply limit. It doesn't actually mention anything about the terrain. Now is that where is that a bug? Like where is that coming from that we're not actually having that? You need to get there because I wasn't paying attention. Gosh darn it! I need to pay more attention in wartime. Get there. We are actually attacking into that. That's not good. When are you going to get there? 3rd of May. That may not be soon enough. Okay, you did get there, but I still don't think that was soon enough. It, it's close. I think we lose this one. 1-5-2-1-3-1-2-0. Ouch. Oh, come on. We're winning. We're winning. We outnumber them, and it's good enough. Woo, that was close. We shut him down. Holy cow. Do you have any claims over here, Chinook? I'm not seeing them. That's fine. Uh... Take the stab hit. I can just do that. Solve the problem. Frustrating, though. That is frustrating. Years of peace are behind us, and we can declare war again. Yes, we can. Where's my fleet? They're exploring, still. Well, I guess we had out of speed one for a while, so that's, that's fine. Can you send some men's down here, Chinook? I'd really appreciate some extra soldiers. Oh, hi, Moonster. That's not good at all for me. Are you going to actually, like, make it through an attack? They're going to try to attack. We're going to... I'm going to actually get there before they will, and they're going to attack me. Okay. I mean, I don't see how you could win this battle. You have a inferior leader, you're attacking a defensible position, and we have more soldiers. Not really a battle you could win. Uh, will arrive. Okay, no, that's not. That's not army. That's still navy. Get over here. Get over here and blockade Iran and Dara. We need eight thousand men. Eight thousand. 
I could go over here and pick up these 11,000. That might actually be something I should do. If I want to make sure that I win this war, I should probably run over here, pick up these 11,000 soldiers. I mean, I have 12 boats, so we should be able to get there. 12 cogs. Pick up 11,000 and use them. Oh, I'm so glad we have positive prestige again. Seriously? Why are you guys so intent upon hitting this? 9th of November, 17th. We're going to get there. We're going to defend it. Okay, you're going a different route. You know what? Fine. Whatever. It's fine. Just waiting for you to get there. Go ahead and merge you guys. Okay, now they're going in to the highlands and they're trying to counter siege. But we're going to have some men soon, so we should be able to, to be just fine against that. Now, how? what are the river crossings here? Just Osirinus? Okay. So I can go to, like, Oja, for example... And be perfectly fine. Not there yet. Still not there yet. Okay. Just watching very carefully. Okay, they're there. Get on the boat. Get over to Kuja. Be a safe enough location. Yeah, I don't think my allies are going to help. Okay, we have Cassadir. Good. Now, just double check. You, there's no Malia, but that's okay. They say there's no river crossing. I will go over to Kudja. I'll have some 32,000 soldiers, approximately, march on their 22,000. Hopefully, that'll be good enough. Let's get them out of any possible attrition. Whoop, hang on. Well, we don't have much of a choice right now. We just kind of need to let them do their thing. Ottawa entered into a military alliance. Wait for our soldiers to appear. Our... Whoa, Great Karoo. Nice. Thank you, Great Karoo. That's one we could use. Okay, so we have one, two, perhaps. Where should number two be? Two can be right here. They're actually... Okay, I thought they were moving to attack me. I was just like, what? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Oran? Okay, ah, that's good. You go there. It's a good spot for you to go. With your, know, like, 2,000 men or whatever. Okay. Where's my navy? I'm carrying my soldiers. There they are. They're coming. Almost home. Almost home. Meanwhile, we're getting more soldiers reinforced while they're losing soldiers. Now, I need you guys to be set on aggressive. Forgot to do that, so... Feel free to come over here and help. Whenever you please. 33,000 soldiers. Go ahead and march on that. You can be in there too. I don't think you'll actually make a difference, but you can try. 33,000 plus Sordic. We do have the terrain penalty because we're, we're the offense here, but we still lose because we still outnumber them by like 7,000 men, so obviously that's a loss. Now that should have been a given. I'm sorry. We don't win when we have more men. Oh, God. Okay. Wait. Two, two, three, four, four. Wait, what? What just happened? I feel like we lost our, our king and our heir in that one battle. And now we have a new heir, 
and then a new king as well, who then has their own heir. Very confusing. A ruler is already a general. That's so confusing. I don't know. But the episode's over, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, as apparently a lot of people died all at once. Huh. DF... Oh my goodness. Okay, DFTBA. <laughs>